here which again Doyle King and uh we're starting off the second part of this uh Wednesday uh, big time wrestling. Yeah, it's gonna be Rick Flair against Michael Blaze. And here we go to the ring right now for that one. And okay, blazes it. Oh, wait a minute, giant lightning. You got to be kidding me, and this is for Flores WCW World Title. I told you once again, uh, of course, gonna teach this kid a lesson. And right now, I'll tell you what, oh man, well, Blaze has got the advantage now. Yeah, from that sneak attack by Johnny Lightning. Two are just going at it, and now Blaze gets thrown back ring by the Nature Boy. Oh, and now uh, he gets caught with a clothesline. Wow! Oh, and Blaze now with a vicious forearm shot to the Nature Boy. Now Nature Boy stops him from putting on a further attack. As bam. It's around that turnbuckle. And now, Ric Flair working on an arm of Michael Blaze. The only way Flair knows how to do it, man. He is a master tactician, let's put it that way. Of course, you got Cyclops of the X-Men, Mr. Fantastic of Fantastic Four, and they got Ric Flair in the full horseman. There's a lot of sense. And right now, Flair... Blaze say not so mal the old man, but right now the old man's got under control here and ah oh, stun run. They used to call that in the day when Eddie Gilbert and Steve Austin used to use that. Of course this match started off with uh Johnny Lightning attacking Ric Flair as he was going to the ring. Blaze is daring them to get up, and oh man, what a tornado DT! He stunned them. Oh wait a minute, but Flair is still coming back. Double arm suplex, classic move. You hardly ever see that used anymore half of the time. People like Andre the Giant and Mike Rotunda used to use it, aka known as the butterfly suplex. Right now, oh, Flair gets thrown. Right over here now. Now Blaze gets back in the ring. Smart move by him, so he does not get counted out. Blaze doing something smart that's incredible. And Spike is saying, kick his butt, Flair.
There's a spinning toe hold. Oh man, but Blaze gets out of it. Right now, oh man, Flair going to work on that leg. Beautiful Huracurana by, by the hot shot known as Michael Blaze. And it uh, and, uh, looks like Taylor's chain of figure four here. And once again. Misses and now Blair gets the advantage again. Oh man, and now Flair. Oh. He has just given it to him. Oh boy, oh, we know what this is. Oh man. Oh. And, and Blaze just shrugged him away. Enough to not let him get that figure four on him. Oh, drops gets the knee right on Flair. Ow. Going for the pin. What's Blaze going to do here? Oh, Cleaver rocks. Cleaver rocks. He rocked him with that. You know we're in Mexico City, Mexico tonight. Oh, Springboard Frog Splash. Good God, that might be it. And Blaze just beat Flair. Are you kidding me? You mean he's got Flair's title now? Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. Blaze has got the WCW World Title of Flares. Oh my gosh. Well, you know who you, you, you get him an assist to? Johnny Lightning. Because uh, I know but if anybody caught at the beginning, Flair was coming to the ring and Johnny Lightning clobbered him. I tell you what, right now, unbelievable. All right, coming up next, we got a uh, we got a uh, twenty man jungle ground matchup, and the reason why Devin the Bandit is put, I mean Devin the Cobra is putting his BMW World Title on the line against Joe Kenny uh, Sunday, but he uh, put in another catch. He says he's also going to. There's also going to be another contender, and it's going to be whoever wins this Rumble tonight. Iron Taylor's got a big matchup later on. War Games Advantage. Him, Mr. Amazing, and Brandon Styles is going to be going against Devin the Brand Bandit, David Finley, and Show. And Blaze is saying, I am the WCW World Champion. I beat a legend. Blaze says, I did a... And Boy says, I did all by myself. See, I told you, Michael, you could do it. You didn't listen to me, man. Come on. You gotta start believing yourself. You get that, man? The future's looking bright for you, my friend. I'm telling you. I don't need anyone. Okay, fine. You know what? You want me to be in your church section anymore? I guess I did my job. I just wanted to watch one get pinned anyway. Now, the two superstars that drew number one and nice number two you, Michael. will start the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in in the order they drew. 
This will continue until all 20 superstars have entered the oh, ring. Oh, that's fine, man. I mean, you know. When you are thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. I guess I'll go ask your cousin how uh, Royal Aaron still retreats their people. We'll go on to face the champion of their choice. Treats their employees. I bet really great than, uh, better than you do, buddy. You know, let me say that much right now. I'll tell you what, Michael Blaze, you know what? It's hey, fine, man. First, you know, like you today, a champion today, loser tomorrow. That's what you that's what you basically are, man. Giant lightning doesn't take anything from anybody. Now you're my uh, dad who decided to abandon me. And now Iron Taylor saying, hey, Big Mel, put your uh, title on the line. Well, he sees a, I guess Taylor's challenging Blaze for that WCW world title. Good God, we're getting all kinds of world titles being defended here now. Johnny Lightning against Blaze, wow. That would be an interesting matchup. Who drew number two from Cleveland, Ohio. And Robert Bannis and John Mock are going to start off this one. And Blaze says, mind your own business, Mr. Clean. Good God. Blaze says, Mr. Clean wannabe. Oh, good gosh. And now, McMahon's taking on Monaco here to start off this Rumble to decide who's going to be the third guy in that matchup with Devin and Kenny coming up this Sunday. And now, Monaco trying to lift McMass out of there. Here comes Gus Galaxy the third. GX3. Yet, 17 more to go. Blue Arrow come in number four. Oh man, and Arrow gets stopped in his tracks. Now we got Luther in there at number, at number five. Yeah. 
Brett comes at number six, the Tri American Champion. Don't forget, he, he probably owes Show a rematch coming up uh, down the road. But Show, Show's got other business to be up, involved in tonight. He got opportunity to get the advantage for his uh, team in War Games. Well, the fourth guy in that team, Brody Williams, besides Finley and Devin the Bandit and Show, he has to defend his world title against Ken. I mean, uh, Victor Tonga. Well, he says, I don't want this stupid title. Oh my gosh. Now he says, you know, after he won. Yeah, wow. Oh boy. What's Blaze doing? Blaze just told Flair to take this stupid title back. Oh my gosh. I don't know. It looks way better than that towel. That per that towel he's got personally made. He's going to say the same thing, definitely, but I ate. Hey, who am I to judge? and uh, it looks like Wolfchild's in there right now. Well, I guess uh, Fatal decides to sign for next Wednesday. It will be Johnny Lightning. It'll be Johnny Lightning against Michael Blaze for the uh, WCW World Championship. That's been uh, determined. It wins, uh, Oh, Luther's gone. Wow. Blue Arrow's gone, and now Luther's gone. Marcus King coming in at number nine. Was saying, What? You can't do that. You are in, in play here, aren't you, uh, Mr. Blaze? Yeah, I think you are. You do enjoy getting paid here, do you? Okay, yeah. Well, guess what? You're you're going to have to uh, defend that title. You're a champion now, Blaze. I'd like to see that myself. What the hell? Well, he says, I cheat fair and square to win this title. Oh, there's the magic word, cheat it. Figures, Blaze, you can never do nothing on your own. You are a tragic individual. Now, go to the butcher coming out of number 10. Oh, good God. A madman for a sibling is in this one. Holy cow. Oh man, and Monaco's gone, says so Lorenzo. Hey, maybe Wolchow could get another shot at World Title. I mean, basically, uh, he's still in there. Hope, all hope is not going for him. Got that one. Right now, I'll tell you what.
Trevor Johnson came out of number one and just wanted to go have one block to receive me. So that the number one. Just a number one. Oh, he was a nice guy. He turns into a, such a self sufficient scumbag. Looking for a uh, Vic Cruiser. Yeah, definitely. It's a shame. Shame that happened. Very much. You know, it's still a lot. It's still the fans a hell of a lot of disappointment. Zach, you are coming in at number 12. He's looking to get his opportunity because he got he got cheated out of his the last show. Yeah. He won that wish contract. And then all of a sudden, uh, McManus is gone. Uh, he won that wish contract. And then, uh, man, yeah, I thought Zach, you are going to match against Jamie and turn out to be Jamie. Which makes him the Right now, Green Meany coming in at number 13. Right now, Wolfman come in at number 14. Right now, a lot of action is going on here. I don't tell you that much right now. And, uh, you know? Beautiful drop kick there by Zach York. Oh, and the net breaker. And now, I got, uh, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. It is Jamie York. Oh, man. This is going to be interesting because you need to go back. Zach and Jamie at the same time. I mean, I'll tell you. Wow. Right now, Jamie York. Now, uh, Abdul taking over on Meany. This is not good. You got three, half of the people are in this freaking rumble right now are members of, uh, the Hell's Day or the real MSW. Well, he says, this is all your fault, Mr. Clean. No, it, it did happen tonight, Marcus. We're in the Rumble right now, and I thought this Rumble will decide who's going to be the third contender in that matchup, a triple threat match on, on Superstars when Devin defends his title against now a Joe Penny, but the winner of this Rumble. Well, he's cheated to win the WCW World Title from Ric Flair. That's what happened. That's what happened. And now Zach York went after a toss member of Hell's Game and uh, Oh, look at this beautiful job by uh, Marcus Blocks, what are Trevor's gonna do? And uh, Evil come in number 17. Yeah, earlier him and Johnny Lightning did a double team on uh, Rick Flair. And then now all of a sudden their, their alliance has been broken up. He's a blaze uh, once again his egotism and selfishness. Oh yeah, definitely for sure. Oh man, what an 
elbow drop on the brimstone by Abdullah. And Eva had a power slam on Trevor. Oh man, and the war between the York Wars continues. You should tell it's Zach and Jamie. Oh, and Brimstone's gone. Wow. Yeah, Abdul doesn't care. He's over here just uh, out there making life miserable for people and even his own allies. Big time gut punch by Evil takes the wind out of Abdul. And right now, Zach is getting stretched out by Jamie. Really showing that Blaze can't actually beat Monty Russell, so he's got to beat up senior citizens. <laughs> right. Oh, and there goes uh, Trevor Johnson cursing Zach Blake. Zach getting his vengeance on Hell's Gate little by little. Only the only guy that's in the only in there right now in the ring is that guy in the pink trunks known as Jamie York, his twin brother. And Marcus fights his way through from being eliminated by Zach York. Mortem coming in at number 18. Good gosh. Mortem, of course, one half of the TV Tag Team Champions with Rain. Yeah. Did you ever think you were going to say that, Doyle? No. Marcus is going to try to take out... Oh, he does take out the Mad Max. Really? That was impressive. And Marcus with a stiff knee to the face on Jamie York. CJ coming at number 19. And oh, man. Meaning with the pedigree on Mortem. And now there goes that girl. CJ, CJ just took out the only one York brother. <laughs> yeah, I think the fans are agreeing with that too. We're hoping they take out the guy in the pink trunks. Oh, and there goes Jamie York now. I mean, wow. Eagle actually did. I don't know if I want to thank him. Seriously, you're right. And there goes uh Mimi. Red Devil coming in at number twenty. Good God. There goes CJ. Wow. Oh, great. Either, either way, one of these three, yeah. The odds are going to be against Kenny even win that BMW title. I mean, especially Red Devil gets it now. Now, they may not care for, you know, I mean, uh, the kind of thing about Mortem and Evil may not care for no MSW, but no no doubt about it, it's going to make the odds even worse for even Kenny to get that. Yeah, it is really bad. Uh, you're right about that, Marcus. Really, you're, yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> I 
Here's that Dread Devil inside suplex by uh, Red Devil. Of course, that fits him because, yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That spinning kick right downward on uh, Evil. And oh, what a pile driver there by Mortem. Noki says it looks like MUOW will happen tomorrow or Friday. Sounds good, sir. Yeah. Mortem trying to choke out Red Devil with that uh, clutch. And of course, Red Devil, he started a lot of trouble tonight after that four way tag team match. He attacked Lorenzo and Wolfchild. Oh, big time clothesline. A demon lariat by the by the Red Devil, or the Devil's Lariat. There's Evo in a lariat of his own, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, and Mortem is gonna try to get him, man. Mortem with a springboard clo I mean Evo with a springboard clothesline. Not good for Lorenzo since he has to defend the MUOW World Title against Joe Kenny. Yeah, definitely. He may have inadvertently helped out Kenny. I'm pretty sure Kenny doesn't want his help. Kenny and Lorenzo are good friends, and I don't think Kenny would be happy with that. Oh, man. That fell into a power bomb. Right now, Mortem. This uh, this monstrous titan. 285 pounds of just muscle. Of course, uh, he is known as, he is now the former Ebon Magnificent, we found out. As a true fact. We all remember when the MS Will MSW cut his hair. There goes Red Devil. An eight-man barroom brawl to crown a new TV champion. Ooh, man, that's gonna be interesting. Can't wait for that one. Oh, everything is evil. Oh man. Not, not, no. It's not sung to this tune of Ray Stevens. Everything is beautiful. And Mortem. Oh man, and Mortem kicks evil. Double kicks Evil right in the face. Of course, Evil didn't have a match because he got attacked by Victor Tonga. In a barroom in a uh, backstage brawl. And Marcus says, can both of these two lose? I wish, man. And there is the uh, there is the deep there is the there is the torture rack, and this is up to the name now since he's become mortal. And there goes mortal, man. Uh, there's your winner right there. Great, evil, evil Kenny and Devin. Oh my gosh, man. Here is your winner, the manifestation. Wow. Wait, yeah, I oh, don't know. Great. Evil wins again. Evil's back on the rebound. I'll tell you that much. Oh, crap. Something's going on in the back. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Freaking House of Torture is right. Only thing we can hope for that, that doesn't make the House of Torture happy is that, that Togo and Kanemaru lose that submission match to Crichton and Sanders tonight. Crichton has cashed in the contract and made a 
It's a tag match you can only win by submission. Oh, man. This is not good for Kenny. Okay, Kenny's fighting like crazy against the Butcher. Oh, man. Kenny with a headbutt there. Oh, and Kenny drops Abdul on his head. I'm right on that concrete. Of course, if you did not hear, I guess we heard breaking news. Six cars up the bounty on Kenny to 500,000. Oh, jeez. I wonder how many uh, bounty hunters are going to come out on the woodwork on that one. Well, here's one of them right now with Abdullah. Kobashi's in the building with some friends. Awesome. I want to see Kobashi around. There's a whole lot of shaking going on there with Kenny on uh, Abdullah with that triple German. You better believe it. He got him up too, and I was pretty impressed. Abdullah's like about 350, 400 pounds. Well, more so some of the guys that he helped train. Nice. Kenny, uh-oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, man. Talk about cracking somebody's skull. I can't believe Kenny got him up. Yeah, ouch is right. Oh, and Abdul coming back with a headbutt. What the hell do you need to do? Run this guy over a tank to stop him? He is the madman. Oh, and Kenny coming back here. And, and those throat thrusts right on Kenny. Wow. Once again, throat thrusting him to the head. Those can be dangerous. Just get shoveled by Kenny.
Oh. Man, they, they, he, Abdul hit him that round. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> now, Abdul now grabbing that shovel. Oh, good God. Ooh. Not good on Kenny. He's got that matchup come come up soon against uh, for the MUOW world title. You know who I'm betting who's laughing in the back? Devin the Cobra. Oh, no doubt, Leia. Kenny coming back with a knee. Ah, oh, come. Oh, cool. Kabashi has Go Shiozaki. I heard of him. And Namamichi Marafuji plus Honda Ak Young uh, Akiyama and uh, Teo with him. Not, okay, cool. And Kenny manages to get Abdul and he's like, and Ken, Kenny's just yelling like, anybody else you want to send six killer Devin? Anybody? I think he's a little. I think he's uh, a little mad. Would be an understatement there, Doyle. Yeah, I say so. Coming up next, Malachi Abramoff against Jericho Jones, and this has been a grudge going on for a while. Yeah, Kenny and Lorenzo have been both attacked, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, these, yeah, definitely, that's for sure. And now it's boiled over here at Musty Rustling. Oh, boy. And I think it's even boiled over in uh, MOW, if I'm correct. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Lucha Hardcore Hybrid Championship. <laughs> So true. Jones has been a pain in Malachi's rose bush for a few months now. Yeah, definitely. I'll tell you what right now, yeah. But would it be something Malachi beats Jericho for the X Division tell? He did it before in Shockwave defeating him for the international belt. <laughs> I'll tell you that much right now. So it may not be far fetched. Now we're, here we go, folks. Let's uh, get this going here. Okay, you see Malachi coming to the ring right now. And there he is, folks, with the trios title and the X Division title, Jericho Jones. This guy is uh, blazing a path here in must-see wrestling. You know what? No doubt about it, Doyle. No doubt about it. And we're 
to get this one going here. I mean, you can call Jericho Jones the illustrated man. I mean, that's what he kind of reminds you of with all those tattoos on him. <laughs> Definitely got some shouts celebrating uh, to the wrestlers celebrating their careers this month. Nice, yeah, definitely. And who would that be like, basically, may I ask? Well, I, I, I gotta admit, I gotta, I gotta give a not quick. I'm not gonna give a shout out to the Guardians because they uh, unfortunately lost against the Tigers uh, today. So they're, they're like one game away from elimination now, which is bad news. World Trios title, get it right, announcer. Tanahashi is celebrating 25 years on the 14th, and Yuji Nagata just food celebrated his 40th year. Holy cow. I would never believe he was in there for a while. I remember when he was in WCW, so he's been in wrestling that long. Wow. I know he's been, yeah, I know he's up there because I remember him from the days of WCW. And right now, Malachi pound away on Jericho Jones. <laughs> Congratulations, those guys, definitely. And right now, Jericho going right in with uh, Malachi. Oh, man, the shot there. Yeah, surprised he's doing this one on his own, I guess. Oh man, what a kick there by beautiful kick there by uh, Jericho. Oh, only a two count. Rock well, kicked to the face of the challenger. Jericho is uh, way in the corner, and oh man, uh, what a shot there by Jericho! Oh man, beautiful! Uh, Falcon arrow. Oh, look at that! Malachi escaped the finisher. And we knew that Jericho's trying to end this quickly. I wouldn't blame him. And of course, the weird thing about it, if anybody heard, I mean, another weird story that comes out of Wasteland is that now. Dominus has an obsession with destiny. Oh man, what a shot there by, oh man, Malachi. They only want a few shots there, and now oh, look at Jericho off the ropes. Oh, boy, that nasty knee to the jaw does a lot of damage. Sure does. 
Oh, two count only. Malachi came close. Oh, this may not be good for Jericho. Oh, no, no. Oh, man. AEW Wrestle Dream looks like a good card. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, like I said, I like their stuff match-wise. It's like story-wise, it's another story sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, but their matches are just brilliant. No doubt about it. And uh oh. Yes, especially now with Brody King and uh his, I think Brody King answered that challenge of Darby Allen from the fact. Oh, and Malachi wins the X Division title. Are you kidding me? Wow. Malachi Abernoff. Here is your winner. Wow. Yeah. Blackout. Well, there you go, folks. Malachi did it. Once again, he spoils the uh, chances. Of, uh, he spoils the dreams of Jericho having a long title reign. Wow. Coming up next, Blair Davenport against Janet Decay. I guess they're going to have the women's tag team title match as the main match tonight. But nonetheless, you know, still important. No matter where you're at on the card, it's every match we consider important here in must-see wrestling. Yeah, you got that right, Doyle. I'll say that much right now. And this is just as important. I mean, this is an opportunity for Blair Davenport maybe to pull off a big upset. Of course, if she does, she'll probably yell at everybody and say that, uh, you know, uh, you should put me right up there in the main matchup, and you didn't. Yeah, I can add up to that. I'll say, I'll say that much right now. Let's get the ring right now for this one, shall we? The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Women's World Championship. I wonder what will happen on the next MLW show. Who knows? I think it's Slaughterhouse that's coming up with Punk Direct. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and there's Blair Davenport right there. Sorry about that. I should have just took off the entrances on here. My fault. Seems like I got a mood. I'm in the mood to skip through the entrances, and I apologize about that. Maybe I'll work on some new entrances for these people because it's like I'm, I I never got around to it. It's like, must have been about what several months I had the game now. Introducing the challenger from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport, and her opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, the. Oh wow, oh wow, yeah, I think, yeah, it was supposed to be down there, yeah, gotcha, damn, sorry to hear that from them, definitely.
The next pay-per-view is Lucha Apocalypse. Yeah, definitely. It should be interesting. And right now, Jen taking advantage of Blair here right now. Trying to, trying to make this a uh, easy toe defense here. I know she had a tough one with Hobson in, but she managed to make it through. But after the match, Destiny hit her at the belt. And now, uh, where's the champion in this one is, will be defending her belt against Destiny Starlone, who cashed in that TV title to get a tell shot on Sunday. So she's either going to be going against Blair or Janet. I hope it's I hope it's Janet. Yeah, definitely. Janet's been a fighting champ. She's defeated likes of Joy Joel, Hot Stuff Hobson. I mean, let's put it that way. And she defeated Sarah Perry to win that belt, if I'm correct. I'd like to say. Tonight's main event is going to be uh, Brody Williams defend the MSW World Title against Victor Tonga. The winner of that matchup will have to defend the world title against Marcus King on a future edition. Definitely. <laughs> maybe sometime, maybe it'll be, it'll probably be next week. Could be possible, you never know. Be surprised. I mean, uh, Simone's been having her problems the last couple weeks. It's not with them, it's with the society now, too. Those are like three sets of uh, three groups that like to come at you hard, basically. And Blair Davenport almost with a wall up there. Inside Cradle, I should say. And now Gavin, oh man. And oh boy, Davenport, oh. Trying to make the best of this title shot that she won in that now well at Wasteland. Oh man, kitchen sink knee lift. That's what it feels like to some people. Kitchen sink knee. Oh boy. Oh, are we in trouble? Oh, oh what a painful move right there. Oh, Janet finds a way to get out of it. And now Davenport's the one going near the rope. And Davenport dodges her. And now throws her in the rope and oh another knee lift. Hey, those ribs. She keeps that up, we could see a new women's champion. Oh, you're not kidding. Their crypt their crypt uh, their kryptonite, Yoshina Yoshinobu uh, Kanamaru is in the building. Simone's have trouble and Kanamaru's on the same card as them. Yeah. Definitely, no doubt about it. You're not kidding. And a two count as the kid gets out of it. Davenport's part's giving the a run for the money. Now this is what happens, you are the MSW Women's Champion, you, you take on a tough schedule. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part. 
The mummy is trying to make up for a grim lose that towel, TV towel earlier. Yeah. Yeah, we forgot to say about that. Mullen starts to regain that TV title. Now, I'll say that much. Right? Grim was like the first one out of there. And there was Morbid and then uh, Foreman wound up getting uh, taken out both to Hollywood and Vine by, uh, by Marlon. Oh, man. And she, and she, I don't even know if she got any of that drop kick, but it did not look like it. That's trouble for her. Uh, Oh man, here we go again. Wow. Oh. Oh, she puts the same move on uh, Blur that Blur put on her earlier. <laughs> and that's it. Blur has to. If Blur is not in her, it said, I give up. Here is your winner. Marlon looks like he'll be a wrestling mainstay. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, six has been happy with Marlon. I think Marlon only suffered one loss since being here in this uh, federation. You come to think about it. And that's when he lost the TV title. But he gained that back. He made that look like a fluke. Alright, coming up next. This is a matchup to decide who's going to get the advantage in war games. I guess Fatal's bit three of her uh, compadres and it's going to be Amazing Taylor and uh, Styles are representing her team. She doesn't know who number four is going to be. Yeah, look at look at that already. Right, look at that. That that's I don't know. That's going to be a team of combustible elements. You got Finley Show and freaking uh, Devin the Bandit. <laughs> No. Yeah, definitely. Instead of him getting his re I I'm actually surprised he didn't yell for his rematch yet for the uh for that uh was it? Tell the Tri America title that Grid has now. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, fast forward through these. I should I, I should just set entrances off. I don't know. I guess I'm not in an entrance kind of mood tonight. I apologize. Taylor, there you go right there. There's team number one that the fans are going to be behind. And from Belfast, North and here comes the newest member of the new NSW, David Finley. Of course, the Rebel, he uh, suffered a loss tonight. Him and Superstar lost to uh, Gabriel Kidd and uh, Jake Lee. And after the match, they did a beatdown on Jake Lee. They uh, put his arm right between the ladder and smashed it. And then, of course, they piled right Gay Kidd on a stop sign. I think Finley's trying to bite at the seams to get a try to cut his way in line to get a similar wasteland title shot. Of course, we know Devin the Bandit's back. And let's just get this match going. Yeah. 
Number 19, a modern version of King of Coliseum games or Russell King to Yeah, definitely. Those are fun games to play. Brand Styles and Show, they have had memorable matches over that tri American over that tri American title. say maybe that Taylor Amazing and Brandon have on our side unity. I mean right now the real the uh, six girls team, the real MSW team, looks like a ragtag bunch of misfits. But they won't be such misfits if they win that win this tonight and get them the get themselves the advantage. King Cup, yeah, King, yeah, Russell Kingdom would be awesome though. I remember playing out in '64. <laughs> I remember playing one of them. I think it might have been that virtual pro wrestling, which was pretty damn neat. I like the virtual pro wrestling because they had all the guy. They even had all the American guys in Japan at most of them, like the punks and everybody else. Brody and Abdullah. Oh man, and Finley just uh, blasting, sh uh, blasting uh, sh uh, Brandon Styles when he. Oh man, Steamroller. Is not me. High elevated gut buster. Almost a pin there by Devin on Amazing. And once again. Ah. Ah, once again. Come on. What the hell's wrong with you, Ralph? You, you, you just couldn't count from far away like you always do, can you? What the heck? Damn way to referee. Milky has been in talks with Shawn Michaels and Triple H getting uh, Shinsuke Milk Nakamura and an NBA and W contract. That would be awesome. Definitely. Spinning brain buster by uh, Brandon Styles on show. Oh man, it's really just got way late. He just got knocked out. And the referee goes down. Gosh almighty. Yeah, you can take that more on Brandon Styles. We had a chance to win that match, and he, what he does, he does the cheapest way. He takes out the referee. And a low blow from Show. Come on. What the hell, man? Who can low blow from Show?
And once again, another pinfall broken up by Brandon Stiles that Devin had on one of his teammates. Oh man, face buster by Brandon. Shock arrow on Mr. Amazing. Oh, good God Almighty. Oh, once again, gosh. Oh, Claymore. Oh, man, and Devin just pinned uh, Taylor. Good God Almighty. Here are your winners. This is not good for Fatal. She's going to still figure out fourth person. Because they already know who their fourth person is going to be. It's going to be freaking Brody Williams. But they get the advantage. Wow. For a right tag, well, people may call them the odd, the odd trio because they don't all get along, but you know what? They did it. Wow. I'll be. Yeah. Yeah, those low blows from show did in for the styles. Slowed them down quite a bit, and... Hold on here, let me do something real quick. I got to uh, pause this for a moment because it seems like we each time they change on me, they, And we're back, folks. There we go. Yeah, for sure. I agree with you on that one, man. Freaking 2K, they think they can do the booking when you have the booking already done? What the hell? All right, let's get this one going.
The following contest is a tag team. All right, I forgot to get this one a tag team scene. They're my fault. <laughs> All right, there we go. We see this society come in the ring. And I'm here at ringside, uh, Doyle King, and now I'm joined by uh, the GM, Fatal. How are you? I'm decent so far, thank you. What you doing on that last matchup? You know, I'm disappointed, but you know what? I know my guy, I know the guys that I got for this uh, matchup can uh, definitely rebound. They're good. I have no. I have nothing but the thing. If not, then you know what? I know they're going to try their damnest. So, the rumor is you only have three members, not, not four. We, we, are you looking around for the fourth one? Yeah, I mean, right now, we have only Iron Taylor, Mr. Amazing, and Brandon Styles. We were going to have Joe Kenny in there, but Joe Kenny got got uh, goaded into that title match against uh, Devin. The Cobra for his uh, BMW world title. And knowing Kenny, he never wants to turn down the challenge, and I get it. But I know there's a lot of strong souls in that locker room. Anybody wants to step up? Please do. We greatly appreciate it. So there you go right there. There's a request from Fatal. Anybody wants to step up? She says, please do. Dusty Starlone and Angie Foreman, part of the Hardcore Alliance. They haven't had their uh, luck tonight. Sarah Perry did not win, her, uh, win the uh, TV title in that Women's Battle Royal. And then, of course, you had, uh, what the heck was it, uh, Hobson getting beat up by her par former partner, Suspiria Del Rey. I mean, a lot of stuff going on there. Of course, Marcus and Tasha tried challenging uh, Liv and Dominic for those titles, but unfortunately, I guess Liv decided to throw uh, Tasha in the eye and cause her to lose by countout. Yeah, that was a shame. Let's see what I could do for him the next time around. I know mixed gender matches here on this uh, engine are very tough. You can't really put much rules in them. Nah. Oh, man, there's a go to sleep by... Uh, Destiny. Beautiful back suplex by Angie on that bed oath. Joy Joko just doing a number on Destiny. Right there, you see uh, the great job that uh, Angie's doing, I gotta admit. Fans may hate them, but you know what, gotta admit, they are. Yeah, I'll, I'll give the devil their due. I'll give the devil their due. These uh, girls from wherever they come from, I'm talking about Blood Oaf and Joy Joe, they're a, a very devious trio, a two, a two, a two. I'm pretty sure Blood Oath will have some kind of gold down the road. 
That's the scary part about it. And I will say that. Joy Joy, she, uh, yeah, she's got, she's got a great teacher in Joy Jolt. And in the likes of Sonya Wolf, too. And then uh, Running Wolf and uh, Mordo Man, those guys. I mean, I feel so sad they all got brainwashed. Oh, man, what a DDT there on Joy Jolt by uh, Destiny. Beautifully done. Yeah, oh man, that, yeah, ring my bell. And I'm not talking about the Sunday song either. I gotta teach your reference how to go from one pinfall to another without, you don't really need to show that, uh, I think everybody knows they kicked out of two. You just should just one count for the uh, other pin there. Oh man, what a uh, suplex there. Very inverted. Oh, almost had a pin there on, uh, looked like Blood Oath. Yeah, definitely. Oh, what's, uh, st what's Dusty up to? Uh-oh. Oh! Man. She just flat out to destroy Joy Joy with that move. Uh -oh. oh man, Star Wars Cyclone. Oh man, she kicked out. I don't believe it. You got to be freaking kidding me. Once again, Angie Foreman. Show. Oh, look at that. Turn it into a pin. Oh, almost. Noki says if Lorenzo isn't ready to go against Kenny on MEOW, then he'll be replaced by Brody Williams, and it'll be, it'll be the same in other direction. If both men are unable to go, then it'll be, it'll be uh, Brody Williams against. Catch Yori Shibata for the title. So just uh, told Anoki that he's okay. He's right. He's right. He's okay to go. Oh man, Joy Joe just got dazzled by a uh, tornado DDT. Oh man, again. I gotta admit, it's a late counting by the referee. She can count from the middle. She can count from in the ring while watching the game fall. And believe me, I'm not a uh, Starlone and Angie fan, but you know what? I'm not a Star Wars or Angie fan, but you know what? I believe in uh, just fairness. I'm not a fan of either one of these two. Oh, man, there's that, there's our move. Once again, wow. Oh, 
Oh, man. No, are you kidding me? Oh, there you go. Oh, man. They did it. Well, they're dust kill. Here are your winners. And still, women's world. Yeah, Tag definitely. Team champions. I know Anoki says that I will watch your back if I will use since the role MSW will try to get anything they want. Yeah, they've been trying to do that at every hook and crook and uh, crank hook and nook and cranny. All right, folks, coming up next, we got uh, that submission tag team match. The match can only end on a submission. Crichton catches his contract and says, yeah, we're going to do that. Oh, man. And Bobby Six scores here at the, uh, the thing there. Oh, man, am I so happy. Did you see my guys just... Just uh, destroy the hell out of uh, of your so-called heroes. <laughs> and Duskar saying, I see four dummies in there. Boo. Oh, man. You call them Crichton and Sanders a dummy? They might stretch you out for dinner one night. Yeah. Only way they can win this matchup if a submission by submission. That's where we're gonna put the test because we've never seen Togo and Kenamaru ever have like a real submission move. And is for the men. Yeah, there'll be real probably low blows. I wouldn't doubt it. Championship. Introducing the challengers first from Manchester, England. Weighing in at 245 pounds, the Terror Price Sanders! Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you, Dust Killer. And from Manchester, England, weighing in at 240 pounds, Corey Crichton. There's Corey Crichton. And I'm going to go ahead and just put, skip the entrances right now. I know everybody knows the entrances already. If I get a complaint because I'm uh, fast forwarding the entrances, oh well. I do apologize. Everybody has that. Everybody's come here to watch action. If they want, I guess, uh, they want entertainment, go to the movie theater. <laughs> yeah, you've been doing some good stuff on Seven Days of Diet. It seems like you're interesting. It's like, if anything, uh, that would be definitely one of the games I get if I buy a next gen system. Let's play that way. Looks interesting. I remember when I used to play the old one on, uh, I used to play the old one on Xbox One. I, I actually liked it. I know it had a lot of quirks and everything, but you know what? I actually enjoyed it. I like my zombie survival games like that. It's, uh, what the hell is it? Uh, State of Gay. But the question is, what happens if Crichton and Sanders will lose a submission match? It's like what Sanders and Crichton said. They said they're going to have to work on the way back down, back up again. Yeah, if, it, if they do win, it'll be a clean sweep, definitely. You'll show won that six-man match. And then, of course, Eagle won the Battle Royal. Let's hope Crichton and Sanders uh, does not let that happen.
Kanemaru, he's like a speedy little rat. rat. I'll tell you that much right now. He's got the abdominal stretch that Sanders going to go to work to see if they can find a weak point to, uh, or make a weak point on their opponent. Beautiful uh, shin breaker into a back suplex by Sanders on uh, Kanemaru, and oh man, take care, man, take care. Oh man, Kanemaru just got slammed. Now Togo. Oh man, and a crate and miss, wow. How the hell did Kanemaru What the hell? Does Kanemaru have like uh it's got like four dimen like a fourth dimension powers? Where somebody can go through him and uh he doesn't even get affected? What the hell is that all about? You got me, uh you got me fatal. Yeah, definitely. He, he sure did. Uh, I could swear he hit Kanemaru, but it looked like you know, Kanemaru slightly got out of there. Oh! <laughs> Ooh! Togo standing there in the corner and cranked him in and played. No, the friendship with you and Crichton has been a while, Dara, definitely. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, me, yeah, me and Corey's been, yeah, we, you know, I think I have a few years experience on Corey, Corey in the Federation, but you know what, I gotta admit that, uh, you know, I mean, I remember when he used to uh, be taught by Joe Master and Bat, when I was married to Bat at the time. Yeah, strike one with the chair is right. Is it past my bedtime? Yeah. My bedtime's like about 3 o'clock. I'll admit to it. And there's a camel clutch there by Sanders. Or Togo just got rock rocked with a chop. Oh, look at Togo. The weasel. Oh, man, and quite the easy for him. I mean, I'll, I'll admit, how's the torture of great athletes, but they do they need a cheat? Yeah, you wonder, Fatal. Sanders gets clothesline. Wow, walloped. Oh, Joe Jack with a code breaker. Holy cow. A quite in code. And Kanemaru just ran, ran in the back of Crichton's head. Oh my gosh. That was a dumb move. Yeah, good job. Good job, genius. <laughs> and Crichton's got these uh, fans in Mexico going here. Well, Crichton is a big uh, popular foreign wrestler with the fans in Mexico. He has wrestled down there 
quite a few times. Now once again, Togo with a damn low blow, but oh! There you go. Justice by Sanders on Togo. Now we got some action back in the ring, thank goodness, and, uh, oh, no, no, oh, no, are you kidding me? Oh, man, come on. And Togo can I, yeah, Togo, anyway, to yeah, Togo can do is, uh, gotta go for a submission here. No, he does, yeah, wow. Sanders withstood the pain. And now Croyton's been bloodied. Oh, yeah, now Togo once again. Yeah, seriously. Now Togo going at it again here. Oh, wait a minute, Creighton. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, man, crap. Crossface. Oh, man. Oh man, that's not good. Crichton missed that insecure by far.
Yeah, wire bats in there. I saw that. Yeah, there it is right there, right to side ring by Togo. Right then, going for that bow and arrow again. Bulldog. by Yo and Kanamaru. Now there's that, there's that uh, revolving street cutter or whatever you want to call it. Damn you, Togo. Right then throws him back in the ring. Now Sanders, you got Sanders working on the arm of Togo. And the cover to two is off. You're right about that. I'm just surprised I haven't seen Crichton use that sleeper. Yeah, definitely, you know, you would think. That's usually like one of his go-to moves sometimes. The scary thing about it, there's a lot of grin in these guys, I'll tell you that much right now. Oh yeah, there is a lot of grin in these guys. Did 
they did it. Here are your winners. Wow. Sanders' dream has come true, folks. He wanted to hold the MSW Tag Team Tells of Clayton, and uh, he did it. And Corey's got a lot of blood on that chest. They're going to have to get themselves checked out. I'll tell you that much right now. They took a lot of damage in that matchup. They sure did. Congratulations. Thank God. Man, thank goodness. I thought we were going to hear another one of those stupid little House of Torture celebrations. And you know what the hell with it. I'm going to stay over here for this matchup too. Hey guys, congratulations. Thank you. Sasha Stone with you again. And I'm here with Corey Creighton. And Price Sanders, your new MSW Tag Team Champions. Guys, how does it feel? You know what, I gotta admit, this has been a lifelong dream I wanted, man. I mean, I mean, uh, Sasha, me and Corey winning titles. That's what we should have done last time, but you know what, it, it works out good. That means, uh, you know, we stuck to our promise that if one, of, if the one contract didn't work, we would put the other contract in there, and we did. Say that much right now, I mean, oh, man. Lost soul brain going on here tonight. Yeah, right now I think we gotta get to the hospital, right to the medical center, and get ourselves cleared up here. Corey Crichton, what do you guys say about this? I like to tell the fans, I like to tell Price Sanders, I like to tell the people in the locker room and everybody else. Thank you. Thank you. This feels like a tip on the iceberg. I'll say that much right now. You know. I'm pretty sure Togo and Kanemaru's going to ask for a rematch down the road, but you know what? When the time comes, we'll deal with it. I'm pretty sure too, Marcus. I know, I know. I heard that Fatal was saying that Marcus is going to get his rematch down the road against either Victor or Brody. And you know what? I know he can do it again. He did it before. He did it before. Main event time it is. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the world. Oh, come on. Togo sneaks up from behind low blows for you while Price gets spray, sprayed in the whiskey in the eyes by Kanemaru. Good God almighty. Hey, wait a minute, Joe Kenny's coming there. He's fighting, he's taking on, uh, oh my God. He, he's going right at it with, uh, right at it with Togo and Kanemaru. Oh man, he's got a kendo stick. And he's just smacking both of them with it. Wait a minute, here comes another guy helping out uh, Kenny. Masao Tanaka's here again. Masao Tanaka. And Tanaka tells tells Togo and uh, Kanemaru, out of here in greats, out of here, out of here in greats. Get get the hell out! Wow, that is really Japanese. You know, we talk about Japanese legends like Kabashi, Anoki, and those guys. But Tanaka's right up there. He's like the Japanese hardcore legend. One of them. Well, definitely, you learn from some of the best. Onita. One, oh, oh, for sure. Onita, for sure. At Sushi Onita. The godfather of Japanese hardcore. And look at this. Brody Williams with his uh, group consisting of Six Killer and Devin the Cobra. Oh, do we get a little bromance going on here between Six Killer and uh, Devin? Of course, Six Killer, he's in a very good mood tonight after he saw Marlon not only regain the TV title, but now he saw 
Devin Finley and uh, Show get back to get the advantage for War Games. Kanemaru says, "Shut up, old. Shut up, man. I've beaten you before, and besides, tell those uh two to keep the belts warm because they won't they won't have them before for too for long." Wow. I mean, we're getting blessed with some real international talent here, definitely. We still got at least a couple more weeks here in Mexico. I'll tell you how much right now. I'm going to enjoy it. Tomorrow I'm going to go out there and get a suntan. Uh, I don't know when they're over there at Cabo Lava. All that great stuff, you know. Yeah, definitely. I would have eyes off. You know, now it's six killing Devin, but you also got House of Torture. What the hell did Terry Funk just do in the back? He broke the shot glass of Kanemaru as he was drinking whiskey and rubs it right into Kanemaru's forehead, making him bleed. And they used to call him an egg sucking dog. You don't have no respect there, boy. Let me say something right now, Kanamaru. You know, anytime Crichton and Sanders need any help or Tanaka for me. I don't mind knocking some of you pipsqueaks around. Oh, look at that Brody. I mean, wow. Oh, my gosh. That's beastly. Holy Jesus Christ. I can say Christ almighty. And now Brody going, oh, man, dropping the elbow right down the back of uh, Tonga. Oh, and Funk just now smacked Kanemaru in the head with the branding iron. And he says, who's a half-wit now, you stupid SOB? Oh, my gosh. And right now, Victor Tonga taking down Brody Williams. You know what the problem with Brody Williams? I always know that when he first started his career, he had the MSW title at one time. But you know what? He can never make it through that first title defense. He's got 
he's got something to prove to the uh, the believers, doubters, and everything else in in this area. You got that right. That is B Victor Tonga. Right now, <laughs> and Funk says, No, bleep, you look like one of my cattle. Oh, my gosh, yeah, that's what they do with their cattle, I guess, down there on the ranch. Yeah, they brand it. But Funk, he didn't brand it. He just smacked him good with it. Oh, man. What a move there by Victor Tonga. There's some freakish uh, things with these wrestling rings, I swear to goodness. Oh, wait a minute, uh-oh, Tonga. Oh, man, are you kidding me? Is that Williams' curse going to continue? No, Brody kicks out of Spike. Wow. <laughs> Who knows? Oh man, and there was a splash right there, folks. And Victor Tonga has re is a, has realized his dream. He has beaten Brody Williams for the world title. Here is your winner, and new world Holy cow. That's a giant of a world champion. Victor Tonga is now the world champion. Good God Almighty. Uh oh, Chris, Christopher coming down the uh, ramp saying that he'll take on Victor Tonga, but right now he may have to wait for his turn because he's got other people like Marcus King and, uh, yeah, definitely. Marcus King and, uh, Red Devil in a way too, but hey, you never know. These guys can get get involved in a one on one on one uh, non title brawl, and then uh, that will really prove it. Christopher beats Tonga. That that will really prove it. That uh, he does deserve a shot, most definitely. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. And Narita just came out of the ring, and he just hit he just hit Victor with the push up bar. I heard that Christopher was being mean to Joe Kenny when he was playing some seven days to die. Oh, good gosh. Was he calling Joe Kenny the, the zombies in the game he was being the crap out of? Narita saying, huh, how about this? How about this, fat man? Oh, man, are you kidding me? Victor Tonga doesn't even get to celebrate his victory, and yet, yeah. Oh, because of Maria coming out there and hitting with the with a push-up bar. <laughs> oh man, are you kidding me? Now Vic, now Victor got hit with a double cross to the table. <laughs> no, you was picking on me. Ah, that's all right, man. I'll have to find some nice things to say about you, Dan, on the next show, sir. Well, that's it for now. We'd like to thank you all for whoever's been here. For uh, Fatal, Leo Morgi, and everybody else who's been to all King. Have a good night, everybody. Be safe. Oh, and oh, 
man, Christopher just got thrown. 